From pulling cheap fouls on his opponents in games to punching his own teammate, Draymond Green is one of the dirtiest players in the NBA. And that explains why so many people hate Green. He has been one of the main driving forces behind the Golden State Warriors, who have remarkably won four NBA championships since 2015. While there are a lot of positive attributes that he brings to his team, the Warriors' power forward has always had a dark side to his game. And ever since he made his debut for the Warriors, Warriors back in 2012, one of the first things that people noticed about him was that he's always on the front foot. Well, that and also the fact that he doesn't care too much if his antics on the court lead to other players getting hurt, whether it's fouls on the court or arguments off it, Draymond Green usually paints a pretty aggressive picture. However, all the hate that he gets doesn't stem from his dirty antics on the court. Now, I'm definitely not defending him, but you have to admit that Green has the skills to draw drive any opposition fan base mad. He's actually pretty good at chasing his opposing players off the court and limiting their ability to impact the game, which obviously helps his own team take the initiative. And that tells you why the Golden State Warriors have held on to him for so long, despite all the bad press that he generates for them. Now, one of the most despicable aspects of modern social media is the fact that people can say absolutely anything about anyone. And while freedom of speech is one thing, people on social media tend to take things too far on occasion. In elite sports, there's a saying that you're only as good as your last game, and if in the next game you put a few steps wrong and God forbid end up costing your team, the fans will absolutely slaughter you on social media, and there's pretty much nothing you can do about it, especially in the Twitter circles of the NBA, where there is a predominant culture of slandering NBA stars. And this gets quite toxic at times for someone like Draymond Green, who is less than adored by the opposition fans as well as some of the war Warriors fans. And if you ask me, social media should actually be off limits for Dre, because nothing good can come from Green seeing what people are saying about him. According to the data compiled on the topic by Action Network HQ, Green is the second most hated NBA star on Twitter in their list of players who receive the most negative tweets. Marcus Smart was at number one with 41.03%, while Green was second with 38.27%. But what has Draymond actually done to deserve deserve all this, you asked. Well, he's always been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Now, while I accept that social media can actually be a pretty toxic place for players who aren't loved by the fans, but I can't deny that with Draymond Green, maybe the fans do have a point. The 32-year-old veteran has never really done any favor to his own reputation, with his reckless behavior on and off the court with little to no regard for the opposition, and even his own teammates. From that point of view, I think his inclusion in this list is somewhat valuable. Validated. Now, I know that he's always been less than loved by the opposition fans or players. Draymond actually put the last nail in the coffin of his reputation ahead of the 2022-23 NBA season when he got into an altercation with the Warriors' new boy, Jordan Poole. As the Golden State Warriors were going through the preseason training sessions, news actually broke out that there had been an altercation on the training court between two Golden State players. And without reading anything further, I knew that Draymond must have been involved. As the news started to come out, we got to know that it was actually an argument between Jordan Poole and Draymond Green, where Green ended up pushing his teammate. Now, if that didn't sound bad enough, the video of their altercation was leaked shortly after, and Green's conduct in the argument between the two was absolutely shocking. Turns out the 32-year-old didn't just push Jordan Poole away, but actually punched him in a vicious attack. And this isn't even the first time he's had an argument with a teammate. Green also had his fair share of problems with former teammate Kevin Durant. Dre has always had this habit of acting like the tough guy, and it works on some players at times who get intimidated. But you know who doesn't get intimidated when Green says anything? Yeah, Kevin Durant. He's one of the coolest and no-nonsense guys in the NBA. Oh uh, Yeah, we, we dug down deep. I, I wanna, our bench came through. Ish Wayne Wright, uh, Torrey Craig came through, hit some big shots, big shots for us in that fourth quarter. Guys that can play off the, you know, the catch and, the, and drive it and, and create plays for others as well, it just makes us more dynamic. So if you want to be able to, if you want to shrink the pain. Or... I mean, it felt like fundamentals of the game, but it was like truly fundamentals of life. What it's going to take for me to survive as a human being, a maturing human being. Yeah, I didn't think I was, uh, I thought I'd be lost on a few plays, a few sets on the defensive side of the ball, but I felt like uh, these last, what, two weeks, a week and a half of practice. And 
Now, KD doesn't mess around. He tells you straight up what he wants and usually ends up getting what he wants. Durant joined the Golden State Warriors after their first championship win in 2016 and immediately took the side to another level. We all know what he's capable of on the basketball court, but you see the thing with KD is that you can't have an ego better than him in the dressing room. Otherwise, things aren't just going to work. Durant spent three seasons with the Warriors and had more impact in those three seasons than Green has had on their squad in the last 10 years, as he led them to two NBA championships, becoming the NBA Finals MVP on both occasions. Durant had a number of altercations with Draymond Green in his time there. Things really went haywire when Green and KD got into a verbal altercation after the Warriors lost to the Clippers in November of 2018. The altercation came after KD apparently criticized Green for not passing the ball to him when he wanted. Green responded by saying that Durant wasn't doing enough without the ball for him to pass to him. KD being KD responded with just pass me the f***ing ball. And as if arguing with current players isn't enough, Green recently got into a verbal scuffle with TNT analyst Charles Barkley. The four-time NBA All-Star joined the TNT studios for their coverage of the NBA All-Star game this year. Since he wasn't picked to participate this year, he joined TNT as a guest. And as a guest, you usually just share your opinions on the game on hand and you go. But not Green. He's always adamant about making everything about himself wherever he goes. And that's exactly what happened when Barkley shared his thoughts on the Warriors' chances in the NBA this year. While there was a discussion in the studio about how open the playoffs were this season in the Western Conference, Barkley mentioned that the Warriors are cooked and shouldn't be considered serious contenders for the championship this year. Now, I admit it was a little stupid of him to say that in front of Green, knowing how he is, but you know Charles Barkley, right? Already Charles Barkley. And I didn't think that uh, he deserved to come in on that part. He doesn't tip like that. <laughs> he I mean, doesn't. I mean, you're talking about the same guy. We were doing a tribute to uh, John Glenn <laughs> when he experiences passed. Experiences of my life. I love Shark Tank. I love it too. A uh, good friend of mine, Mark uh, Cuban, asked me to be on it. Everybody was wonderful. Mr. Wonderful. Fourteen guys. Oh, are these old pals? These are old pals. I mean, they're at least 24, so uh -huh. got, they gotta be old. <laughs> they had a great time. He rarely shies away from what he wants to say. And sure enough, his comments riled the Warriors' power forward right up, who responded by labeling Barkley's comments as crazy, mentioning that everyone said the same about the Warriors last year when they ended up becoming the NBA champions. Now, while that may be true, Barkley wasn't ready to budge one bit from his comments. As he exclaimed, y'all are done, which obviously didn't sit too well with the Warriors man, who continued to disagree with Barkley's thoughts. And those have been just some of the reasons why people hate Draymond Green.